The electoral campaign promises made by the Let's Change Coalition promised real change in ways to fight inflation. But after two weeks at the helm, everything indicates that President Mauricio Macri's new economic measures are making the situation worse. Workers say that big business is now better off, but at the expense of a clear drop in their own purchasing power. The currency introduced by the finance minister when he fixed the US dollar at 13 pesos confirmed what they were already planning before taking office, but it certainly didn't solve the problem they promised to address in their campaign. Economists say that Argentina's currency, the peso, has suffered a whopping devaluation of 40% and that the implementation of these old neoliberal economic recipes always hurts working families and their budgets heavily. Based on our calculations, this month's devaluation of 40% costs 30% inflation. That means workers will be able to buy less, mainly items of food and drink. And we know that at this time of the year, prices tend to go up for things like meat, home appliances and pharmaceutical products. So the year will end with a big surge in prices in December. Argentine workers are becoming increasingly worried about how quickly their wages are falling behind in the race against consumer prices. You can get by on your wage if you weave some magic, stretching it out, buying things are on offer and when prices are lowest, as well as cutting back on some expenses. We've stopped buying clothes, we don't have cars anymore and if things continue this way we might have to stop eating as well. The price tags on supermarket shelves are going up. Businesses are speculating with prices. So this will gradually eat away at our wages until we're left practically on the street. The outlook for 2016 looks sombre, to say the least. The right-wing Mauricio Macri government has already started to shift this country's wealth distribution to benefit and favour the very same dominant corporations that this new government represents. The workers are already starting to feel the brunt and things are starting to get tense in this South American nation where it is expected that social conflict will rise in 2016. Leo Pobleta Guti, Telesur, Buenos Aires.